Quidditch next. Oh, and oh, um, man. this is, uh, again, the trans wars have invaded, possibly, or have they? Is, it, is this being... Is this being reached for as an excuse? No, no, it isn't. It, it, uh, so there's a, they've taken the quit. Look, I don't even like the books. Or I've, I've seen the films. I don't really yeah. care about the book, no. you know. Uh, but, the, but a bunch of geeks out there have created these teams based on the actual the game in the book. I seem to remember vaguely brooms and some spinning ball or something. I don't know, yeah. whatever. But they're, uh, not on, they're not riding a, a, an airborne... I, I don't know if they're sort of going, shh, yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> It supposedly is actually sort of taken off as a sport. It has okay. lots of fans. And now they were saying that the problem was that, uh, that Warner Brothers owned the title, so it made it hard for them to make any money out of it. So that's, that is part of the reason, to be fair. They're also saying that sort of 50% of the issue is that um, they, have, they are saying here with J.K. Rowling's anti-trans positions. Now, anybody who's actually familiar with the, day, the debate will know that, of course, she doesn't have any anti-trans um, positions at all. She has pro women's rights um, yep. positions. So the, every time I read that, I always get angry when they're kind of bringing this stuff yeah, into yeah. it. Obviously, this is happening in America, where it's a much bigger deal out there. Um, and it's just it it's so frustrating because if you just show any of these people, why don't you actually read what she's written yes. and tell you know every time you say please name me one transphobic thing that she said. Mm. And they, they never can. It's but just infuriating. That's giving them too much credit because all they care about is the backlash. They don't care about what she's actually said. They care that a load of people will attack them. Yeah. And to them, it's a numbers game. Although not even a numbers game, it's a loudest voices game because they think we'll get shouted out on Twitter. But as yeah. Boris said today in Parliament, which we forgot to mention, it's not Twitter that counts. What we need to do somehow, I know this is in the US, is get to the point where corporations feel more fear from doing these kind of things. You know what I mean? Because they're, they're, they're afraid so they do this. We need to, they need to be punished for doing this kind of thing. They need to be rewarded for being sensible. You know, the interesting thing that Halifax... I don't know if you saw what... Remember what happened a couple the of weeks? The pronouns. Yeah, the pronouns Lunches. thing. But then people were basically like, we're leaving and whatever. Yeah. And I was like, good, this is going to teach them that you don't disrespect your customers like this. Because the way they put out a tweet that said, yeah, we're all fine. If you don't agree with us, just leave. Go elsewhere, and yeah. then And then actually the impact of that, definitely people left. But it's not had the impact necessarily, and I think, and they were still sending letters back to people saying, you yeah. know what, if you don't agree with us, that's totally well, fine. Well, it seems like a, uh, a fairly small but uh, telling example. Mary Kimball, uh, the chief executive uh, director of US Quadball. Yeah, I think they should just call it Kimball. That would sound. Like, wouldn't <laughs> it? Uh, that'd be the, and maybe that's where she's moving them on towards 